<laughs> kind of thinking about it. Well, okay, action. Action. There you go. There you go. Oh, action. Because there's, yeah, there's, there's danger afoot there. Is it gonna happen? Is it gonna happen? Oh, you got him! Oh, she you made. got it! Wow. Oh, oh look at that! Oh, oh! oh yeah. like, wow, okay, that's it. <laughs> wow, she is. How's it? Hang loose. Welcome to Mongoose Max Hawaii. <laughs> the chat. Ah, ah, ah. I think I got it. Uh, well, stuff. Okay. It, it takes a little bit to set this up. Although, what's good about, this is the new machine. What's good about the new machine is when you plug stuff in, it just simply plugs in. It doesn't Plug the squirt of the contact cleaner. Plug it back in. Is it connect? So there's there's lot not that. That's a good. The rest of it's uh, it's a little complicated with the studio mode thing. Ah. Okay. So last night was Shakespeare on Sunday. We went and did. Uh, we read a little bit out of As You Like It. A type of comedy these feuding brothers and and then who's marrying who disguise trickery uh, stuff it's supposed to be that's the comedy in the 1500s and Shakespeare is dealing with that stuff when he had the comedy plays and it's sort of mm, it was definitely a confusing like who's who kind of bit because oh the woman is disguised as a guy and then she and then so and so one brother was the mayor anyways it goes on like that it is the play that has the all the world is a stage and we are merely players it has that speech in there the nine stages the nine, something the nine stages of man or something like this and uh it does have a lot of love at first sight uh these um joshua the 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 saying we use all the time from shakespeare uh rhyme and reason the one was like neither rhyme nor reason i don't know it doesn't make sense neither rhyme nor reason it that comes from there too like shakespeare has these different little like out of the blue that's from shakespeare out of thin air yeah that's a shakespeare thing so a lot of stuff is a uh, shakespeare stuff if he's the guy that wrote it because there's theories that this poor uneducated glove maker's son couldn't have written all those he didn't even travel to those places he writes about in his plays how does he know rest in peace how does he know all intricacies of the uh court of uh, kings and queens how does he know about that stuff how does he know about what's in padua or different places or how does he know about this lost he's just an uneducated schoolboy kind of like the sixth grade dropout of today how does he do it all so anyways there's theories that somebody else wrote the shakespeare plays I won't get too deep into this. I just go, yeah, it was Shakespeare, okay? Uh, different. All right. So we got all the plays, and we just, I don't know. The ladies are great. We have a, we had the ladies. The, we have three, basically, we have three hula dancers. <laughs> we, me, who are the old men, <laughs> and three hula dancers. That's, oh, I didn't record it, so whatever. There's just too much stuff. Uh, I went all the way over to Michael's place. We did a, a, a cryptocurrency uh, episode on video with my camera he wanted to edit it because he's he's going into editing right now and so I took the camera card out of my camera and put it in his computer so he could download this video 
and he wanted to edit it. Came out a little bit long. It might be a good one. Good for solid editing, you know. And uh, I left my card, my little memory card, in this computer. Now my camera doesn't have a card in it. And then I'm driving. Oh, this is really long day. Yeah. And that's the vlog. The news is, uh, well, I mean, the, the weather's still a little windy, but it's getting there good. I don't know what's going on with Trump. I think basically he's going down in the, he's going down in the court. Something is going to just keep watching. He uh, and all the GOPers are saying Biden is so bad that we need anybody but him. And that's the GOP campaign thing. And so here's Trump getting so close to basically handcuffs with all these trials. There's trials after trials after trials. I think they're afraid to put him in handcuffs because he would actually go to prison um, from some of these things. Right now, it's just gigantic, massive amounts of what they call disgorgement paying back the state of New York and the businesses. Uh, 350 million dollars and then there's an 80 million dollars to the lady he defamed and another 80 million dollars it's just so much Trump is he doesn't have that much and despite what he says Mar-a-Lago isn't 1.5 billion dollars <laughs> he's just putting a price that it's it's worth so much money it's like no it's not worth that so if he liquidates his buildings and all this stuff is still He's gonna be broke. He's gonna be asking you, give me money and I'll save you from those nasty border crossing people. It's, this whole thing is just crazy. And and his polls go up. So it's like, male biting. What's gonna happen to our country? What is, what's wrong with this picture? <laughs> Let's check out what's in Hawaii news. It's, 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 it's after all, it's money. Oh. It's Mongoose Monday. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what's in Hawaii news? Let's see. Okay, quickly. Oh, under rental pressure. Under pressure. Okay, the people who have short-term rentals that can business on Maui, they're being pressured by the governor. Hey, you make those rentals long-term residents so people in uh, that have burned down homes in maui can live and they're oh 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 i gotta turn my shirt i gotta turn my business into some type of oh oh and that's what's going on there it says converting vacation rentals to longer term housing has caused frustration for owners oh uh, i don't know what am i gonna say boohoo i'm sorry you bought your pocketbook Join the cause of the greater good? No. Uh, uh, keep I, recording. Keep recording. Okay. What else is going on? Sports. Yay, UH football is coming back someday soon. They're getting practice. But other than that, there's not much going on. It's all basketball-y. <laughs> We're going to have to go back this way. Okay. Oh, oh no. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, we need to just look at, yeah, a little, like, uh, what do you call Relaxing, but looking back in the past, oh gee, the past, okay, everything's nice back then. <laughs> My memory serves me idyllically. Oh, remember 1978, that was a wonderful time, just wanted to relax, just get up there, instead of the mariachi band, you got these, the upright trio. Mr. and Mrs. Chester Matson. Oh, these are the Matson people. Oh, the beat Romani. The music of Poi Pounders. Hey, where the Poi Pounders? I got one upright bass. They're in the cocktail hour of Holoku Ball in Ala Moana Hotel. Musicians are sponsored by the Pacific. Uh, oh, gosh. We will serenade the rich, rich shipping company guy. Oh, yeah, sure. All right, you know what? Maybe just oh, look football again. I can't wait for some. Yeah, you guys win, eh? Go get win. Little thing. Oh, again? Oh, little finger on the pulse. Oh, whenever I do this, what happened? Oh, Jesus. Okay, finger on the pulse. Political cartoon. My navigation of this website 
it's, it's the other machine. If I do that, it's like, whoops, okay. Oh, Pinnacle Cartoon, save the children. IVF clinic. Oh, he saved the children. He walks out with all the test tube fetuses. <gasps> My fetus is in the oh, save the children. And she's like, ah, yeah, yeah. What about the uh, real kids? That's the thing. It was like, oh, babies, babies. babies. What about what adults? About adults? Anyway, anyways, anyways. Yeah, little fetuses are kids too. Ah, <laughs> uh, what's going on here? Some type of news. Uh, a letter to the editor. Yeah, some type of. Oh. Hello. Hello? Oh, does this move? Here we go. Domestic issues more important than Ukraine. Why is our congressional delegation back home now? 40 gig tours destruction, site article February 22nd. Oh yeah. It's for a photo opportunity. Oh, oh. Friend. Hmm? All four of them are part of a a problem with our federal government they all vote to give money to Ukraine in its war with Russia but what about there it is what about securing our southern and uh, northern borders because you know those Canadians they might be good looking but you know what I'm saying they want to warm their mittens where you don't want to know <laughs> near the southern and, um, and northern or oh, or, ah, the bells of Saint Mary. Okay, we're gonna get this. I'm, I'm oh, there it is. Uh, uh, money to Ukraine in its war with Russia. What about us securing our southern and northern borders? The invasion of illegal aliens. Some of them from Pleiades. Fentanyl killing our people. Because no, there's no such thing as addiction. They're just, they're just inject and possible terrorists who have come into our country, possible into our country, waiting for orders to attack. You know, it's won't understand. Sleeper cell stuff. Yeah, I know what it is. It's uh, fear mongering. <clears throat> Americans, wake up! We are already at war. Be vigilant. Keep your head on a swivel. Richard Cavello Canioi. Hey, Richard, uh, let me find my transition. I am lost in space here. Here I am. Okay, hi. <laughs> OBS. Oh. Anyway, money to Ukraine is not as important as securing the border, which is a huge campaign political issue. The poll numbers for Biden on the uh, border are low and they're high for Trump because he's like build the wall build the wall and that's still in the memory of just shut the border down and all that because the border is a problem especially that southern border they just come in I don't know what's causing that uh, well except for generally you know it's like their country they're fleeing their country and they get this instant benefit from America just go there and mumble the uh, uh, Pledge of Allegiance and their citizens with all these benefits so they're just bouncing Please. over here we just can't handle that many people and yeah there are drug cartels and drugs come over and it's a bad situation and the more the two political parties fight over it the more nothing's gonna get solved and the stuff that could solve it in Congress proposed by the GOP house and stuff is blocked by the very same people they don't want it to be solved they want it to be a problem so there can be a campaign issue and that is just so terrible but as far as the money of ukraine not being as important are you joking me are you kidding me russia don't want nato and that europe european bloc with nato holding it together and the more they nick and knock on that side, if they take over Ukraine, Europe is completely at risk, probably at war. And if you don't have Europe on US side or US on Europe side, you got Russia taking over 
Europe. Much like you know who. I'm not sure. Little March. Little Boots Adolf. Yeah. And that's what's at risk. And that means Putin, the insane homicidal madman who just recently knocked off someone who Sin. disagreed with him again, is uh, basically trying to relive World War II, relive, um, and they were battling the Nazis in World War II, but they want to relive the Soviet conquering imperialism of the Soviet Union. That's what they're doing. Because the fat cat oligarchs are backing them up. So the fat cat oligarchs are backing up this homicidal, insane, autocratic dictator. And November 2024 is our U.S. elections. None of that going on here. Ooh, ooh. Did I say something wrong? Oh my gosh. Anyhow, I got to find out how the heck do I get out of here? Yeah. I go to this one, right? Uh, no, no. I go to this one, right? Is that the one? I think so. Okay, it's time. And then, oh, then I'm gonna play, and then, okay, aloha, everybody. Aloha. I'm trying to figure this out. I'm trying to make them short. I'm trying to figure it out. Okay. Is everything cool? Alright. Have a good uh, Monday. Aloha to you. Bye now.